Hi everyone, this is Dan Creighton from photogeneralist.com. Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple Holga effect from your photos. Start, you open a photo. This is a vertical photo. All Holgas are square format. So you got to crop to square. You want to enter the same proportions for width for height, obviously, in your crop dialog. And then you're going to crop it. Now you want a subject that's fairly centered. My subject here is not exactly centered, but it's it's close enough. You don't have to be perfect on it. I hit Apple Zero, which takes you to full screen on your image so you can see what you're working on. You want to duplicate this layer. Once duplicated, you're going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Now, depending on your last setting you used, is what will open up. You do not want a high radius as it opened up here. You want to drop down to somewhere between 2 and 15. I'm going to choose about a 6 or 7 here. You just want the typical soft look of a plastic lens from a Holga. When you do this, everything will be softened, including the center. So we need to bring the sharpness back in the center. So we're going to choose the rectangular marquee tool. The elliptical marquee tool works just as well. And I'm going to rough out a center part of the image. You just want to leave enough room on the edges for it to stay blurred. When that's done, you're going to hit Q, which takes you into quick mask mode. Quick mask allows you to see the effect of your filter. So I'm going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur again. And now as I adjust the radius, I'm going to go fully to the maximum. You can see how it fades off nicely. It blurs off. You hit OK. When that's done, you hit Q again. That takes you out of quick mask mode. And I'm going to go to select inverse. This inverse is your selection. Now with that Selection is still made. You come over to the top layer and you hit Layer Mask. Now that automatically adds the mask you just created. And you can see you have sharp center with a blurred edge, which is typical of a cheap plastic lens in a Holga. Now, with that being done, it also saves us another step. What we do is we duplicate that same layer and utilizing that same mask, we change it to the blend mode to multiply that automatically vignettes the edges. It's a little too much, obviously, so we're going to drop it down to about 30%, somewhere around there. So now that gives you the vignette effect, which is also typical of cheap Holga plastic lenses. Now, we're going to create a new adjustment layer, and we're going to choose solid color. We're going to choose black, if it doesn't open by default, make it black and hit OK. Then you're going to change the blend mode to color. This will make your image black and white as it desaturates the image. Adjust your opacity down. I'm going to go somewhere around 40% and it brings back color to your image. Okay, we're getting closer to our final step. Now we're going to go to new adjustment layer and we're going to choose photo filter. When it opens up, it's at 85 warming filter by default. You're going to choose the 81A warming filter. And you're going to adjust the opacity or density of that to taste. I'm going to choose a fairly high density of about 60 some percent. And you're done. I'm going to go to the history. What I'll do is I will create a snapshot so that I can show you where we started. This is where we started. We cropped it. And then there is the image with the final effects applied. I hope that this helps you create new effects with your photos. And in the future, I will teach you how to add light leaks as well as create custom edges and borders for your photos that really finalizes this style of technique. Enjoy.